Zeal Education Society Redefining Excellence Hello, my name is Lambodra Vagmare. I am student of second year robotics and automation department, Zeal College of Engineering and Research Pune. Under the activity of project based learning uh, with the theme of Python programming, we made a project called uh, Creating Interactive Dictionary with Python GUI. For this project, my colleagues are Suraj, Laiba, Ashish, and Pawan. We know Python is most accessible language in the world because of its uh, simple syntax, easy to learn, and uh, uh, faster execution than other than languages. There are huge applications of Python like uh, artificial intelligence, data science, machine learning, web development, and many more. From one of the application called Python Graphical User Interface, we made a project using GUI. What is Python GUI? It is a graphical user interface to allow user to interact with electronic devices through a graphical icons, audio indicators such as primary notations. Instead of text-based user interface, then uh, typical commands, labels, or uh, text navigations. Now I'm going to show our programming window. Here is the program for our project. First of all, I'm going to show you uh, how our program run and what will be the output. And after that, I'm going to explain uh, some basic function in the program. Whenever we run the GUI program, then new window will be created. This is nothing but GUI. Now this is our graphical user interface that uh, contain label, input, output, uh, various buttons. Whenever I tap on this search, uh, it will be given, given the output as a meaning of that word. And we uh, add the feature of speak out where uh, the, it, it will be speak out the word as well as the meaning of that word. Robot. And we added another feature that whenever uh, we enter the wrong spelling of the word, it will be detect and uh, reach out the uh, close one of the spelling and uh, showing the message box that uh, it will be our appropriate spelling. Let's uh, just enter the wrong spelling of the word. Here I am uh, putting the wrong spelling of the word and search. It will be giving a message box that showing uh, the appropriate word that closest to the wrong word. Our program is divided into two or three parts. First is the we imported various library for making our project, and uh, it is a graphical user interface logic. It contains the various conditional statements, and this is a program to just start the uh, graphical user interface window. This is a library having a program to give a message box pop up like when we enter the wrong spelling word, they show a correct spelling. Then import JSON. Python has a JSON module that will help converting the data structure to the JSON string using the import function to import the JSON model. The JSON model is mainly used to convert the Python dictionary above to the JSON string that can be written into the file. Another one is dflip and get close matches. Get close matches is the function that available in dflip Python packages. The dflip model provides uh, classes and function comparison the sequences we can use the model to compare the file and uh, produce the information about the file difference in the various formats then move towards the application of graphical user interface in our daily life we apparently use the application related to the graphical user interface like window start screen uh, file menu uml flowchart monitoring touch screen in atms then game consoles etc then move towards the project outcomes. What we learn from this project? Basically, we learn the basic programming to make a Python GUI. Then uh, uh, developing the logic behind the uh, Python GUI. Then we also learn the PyCharm ID. It is used to uh, program in the Python. Then functions and libraries for tick enter graphical user interface. And we are very thankful to the Zill College of Engineering and Research for implementing such an activity. Thank you. Education Society Redefining Excellence